Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. We've got another video here of one of my oddities in the Cooplin collection. And uh, again, a few people have been asking uh, about this one as well. It's still quite windy. It looks like it's probably going to uh, be a lovely afternoon. Uh, but these black clouds uh, this way are looking quite ominous. So we shall see what happens when we try and get uh, a good video in for you on the channel. This then is my Smart 4.2. 450. Uh, it's the 700cc edition, which means, yes, it has got a turbo charge. It's got a fuel dump in uh, the engine bay, which gives it a turbo reaction. And actually, it's uh, it's quite quick. Brief history about this then. I saw it for sale on the Facebook Marketplace. It was £900 and it had got uh, just over 42,000 miles on the clock with um, three or four owners. Now I looked at the MOT history and it had a, quite an extensive uh, history of people doing bits and pieces and fixing uh, this, that and the other. And actually I'd known nothing about the smart car uh, before I went to view it. So as I say, I saw it on Facebook marketplace uh, it was a lady selling it on behalf of her mother who had had it for about a year and uh, she had had to give up driving and so uh, needed a new home for it and uh, the price for me I thought was was quite tempting uh, and obviously purple being one of my favorite colors I had to go and look at it now it didn't look like this when I went to view it it was at green and covered in the stickers and, and bits and pieces of cats wagging their tails on the back and uh, splodges and all sorts of things that said smart arse and, and this that and the other and so I spent quite, quite a good time actually uh, putting it back to factory standard and adding a few um, bits and pieces here and there to it so this uh, is the pure model of smart Mark 4.2. It's actually a 2004 plate. You can't see that there. Uh, pure, there we go. Um, they come in all sorts of different models and this is pretty much one of the bog standard basic ones. It's, it, it's not exciting. Um, and uh, when I got this it had silver wing mirrors. We've got a silver front grille and it just detracted from the overall look and feel of the car so i've spent a little time uh, putting it uh, back to how i want it and adding a few uh, bits and pieces that you could have bought from smart at the dealership so smart in cahoots with mercedes if you want yourself a smart car nowadays you're going to have to go to your local mercedes garage and speak to the ladies and gents in there and it's a bit of an off uh, branch from them. This one is a right-hand drive. The earliest ones into the UK, sort of a Y range, um, were left-hand drive. And some of them still exist, but in my opinion, uh, the majority of them now are getting a bit scarce. You can see it's got a personalised number plate on the front. Uh, that is mine. Uh, if you can't work out uh, what it means, <laughs> then, uh, then ask me in the comments below and I will tell you. But uh, just to let you know, JPC are my initials and the J and the triple nine well I'm sure you can work out why I've got triple nine on there if you know me and if you do follow me on uh, Twitter uh, it's uh, John Coupland all one word you'll probably have seen this one before but uh, I wanted to just document it for the channel and have a have a quick look around and, and show you guys uh, and talk to you a little bit more about the smart car so as I say I bought it it's my daily hack I use it every day and I bought it to commute. I didn't pay £900 for it, I got a good deal, we met in the middle um, at £700 and I drove it home. It was my first experience of driving a smart car as I said and it was absolutely bonkers. Uh, it was like a little go-kart. Let's take a look at the rear because it's got this flat fold down tailgate and as you can see it's looking nice and shiny in purple and um, I've given it a quick wash today and actually it's had a new catalytic converter uh, and two new back tyres today as well so it's had a little bit of love um, and as I say uh, you know I uh, tried to do a little bit of research on it when I got it home and couldn't actually find um, another smart car uh, of this ilk 2004 in purple and I kept trying to look at the the purple smart that someone's put on here and uh, and on the front as well and, uh, and couldn't find another one uh, out and about so I looked at uh, online and to see what what it said about the car and it's actually documented as black uh, jack black is the color not uh, not the famous actor and musician but uh, but uh, jack black which is actually named after the tridian cell now this here this great big 
cell here for the smart cars, which is basically the chassis is known as the Tridian cell because everything else on it is plastic. All the panels are plastic. And so from what I uh, managed to uh, ascertain and from what I managed to find out is that the car was originally supplied in black the Tridian cell uh, with blue panels and a dealer um, up north, uh, I think it was Sunderland as far as I can remember, um, took all the panels off, had them painted a nice purple and so the purple is a dealer exclusive to him and he named it the Purple Smart which is uh, why we've got the Purple Smart decals on there. As far as I'm aware it is the only one, there are no more Purple Smarts. Uh, inside it, it's a bit used and abused, I won't lie. Um, so please don't think I'm going to be winning any awards for Concourse Interior. This is the bane of my life. Um, when water drips in, because this doesn't seal very well, um, it gets on the grey fabric and it water stains. It's awful. I've tried everything. VF foam, but again, I've uh, cleaned it today and now I've got water stains again. So we need to sort that out. But inside, quite roomy. Um, I'm six foot four, 21 stone. Um, and there is so much headroom for me in here. It's absolutely unbelievable. And maybe I do look like that chap from The Simpsons who's driving his little clown car, but it is an absolutely great little car to drive and does me so well as a daily. Um, so taking a look inside, you've got this massive, massive dashboard, which covers all this area here. You've got obviously your fans, no aircon in this model. You can get aircon models, but the Pure did not come with aircon. Uh, you can also get them with glass roofs. This one, just a foam uh, roof. Um, we've got an airbag for the passenger. No, uh, no glove box on here. This is your storage area. Um, and things that uh, I've added is the smart CD player. We've also got, and you're going to go upside down, we've also got a Grundig um, genuine smart radio CD changer here. Uh, it takes six, I think. I think that says six. Um, I've never used it. I put it in. It was a lot of money. I've never used it. Um, pointless. One thing I have put in, though, which are useful, are these little tweeters here and here it was an entire dash out job the whole thing this all had to come out this all had to come out steering column everything and i put two um smart base bins in here and here they are a genuine smart product they go in the bravus or bravus models and um, and these as well which are the tweeters the whole setup cost me 50 quid um it was cheap as chips uh, it made such a world of difference to the audio uh, in here and actually it sounds quite good now uh, especially when um, I'm on the way to work at five o'clock in the morning and we've got uh, I don't know Vanessa Phelps um, Phelps not not Phelps Phelps uh, on BBC Radio 2 pumping out the tunes so uh, <laughs> that is what we listen to on a morning um, I've got these dash clocks these um, are standard the rings i have painted purple again with here and here all the purple accents i've added with a rattle can i bought some new ones and uh, they were originally silver other things we've got then here we've got a little um cubby hole uh, we <laughs> which i won't lie uh, is stuck uh the reason it's stuck is there's a cd cd in there and then one of them ice scrapers that you scrape your windscreen with and it's sort of flipped up and is now resting against here and i can't get a, i need to get a tool in there and get that out but that could be whole actually i've just realized it's stuck i forgot about it um we've got these here which are cd holders uh, we've got a few of them you can put one two three four cds in there you can also get a tape version as well but i haven't got a tape version uh, you've got a little ashtray there with my locking wheel not tool and another one as well with some bits and pieces in uh, this is the knob from here i snapped it off literally before doing this video um so i've got another one of them to do and a cup holder as well and again i've painted uh, these little holders these little module holders um purple these covers because these come off you can add to them like a little column you can put a mix and match of what you fancy you can have your tape deck your cd deck and then your ashtray or, or, or bits and pieces again this is your cup holder and this comes out if you want to put a bottle or something in the passenger's foot well there's lots of little modular storage and it's quite like a, a, a little lego set uh, what else have we got? Driver's seat. Driver's seat has got this underneath, which is a little storage box. I use this to put all my gubbins in, bits and pieces, sunglasses. Um, Mrs. John Cooten has a radar key in there for uh, disability toilets. Um, and uh, 
then also we've got this which is clips on the windscreen it's for my sat nav um but yeah that's useful i always put my bits and pieces in there and uh, this is your dash pod 71,648 now and considering i do sort of 100 and 120 miles in it a day to work um it's lasted quite well the past few years um it is an automatic gearbox and uh, also the semi-automatic gearbox as well just to discuss how that works um we'll just need to unlock <laughs> it's not going to work now start the engine up and i can explain to you so you've got a uh, neutral in at the moment obviously uh, we've got two pedals we've got accelerator and uh, brake uh, you put your foot on the brake you change this box across it goes into automatic mode um, and literally away you go and you've also got these little up and down arrows plus and minus because you can put it into semi-automatic mode so um, you then turn the gears up and down by pushing it up and down i always drive the car in automatic i never drive it in the semi-automatic because actually it's just a, a massive ball ache and it's so much easier to um to just put it into gear and go which adds to the go-kart feel so that's it for the interior i'll take the keys with me as well because we can look into uh, the boot space um at the front access panels we have got here a little access panel here there's an air filter this is the cabin filter and this access panel here as well you open it with the key um, it comes out and in there you've got um filters bits and pieces and also that's where you fill up your water bottle uh, it's an absolute nightmare it's the world's worst design element ever and getting this back in is really difficult as well um but it is what it is i can't do anything about that but but actually using uh this grill system very difficult and to replace a head bulb a headlight bulb you guessed it it's a bumper off job unless you've got very small hands which i don't uh, fuel filler cap this side and uh, just behind there is your little fuel filler petrol of course um a uh, little engine in there and a full petrol tank is about 30 quid uh, not too bad and i get to work in back sort of five or six times a week on 30 quid so you do the maths 100 uh, miles a day roughly on 30 quid uh, so i'm getting sort of five to six hundred miles um, out of a full tank which is very good especially uh, the way that i drive this put it into automatic and off we go um, so it has got one of these split tailgates the glass comes up and it might not stay up the gas struts uh, need replacing they're on order and when your tailgate folds down and you've got plenty of space in there for a Labrador, which is what goes in there. We put Crystal in the car and away she goes. Now under here is your engine bay. I am not going to open it up uh, for the video, but there it is, it's in there. You undo this little key and in there at the back is your engine and it's a bit of a nuisance, um, but actually very quiet. You'd have thought if your engine is right smack behind you, this is my head. We thought it'd be quite noisy, but actually, very quiet. Lots of uh, sound dampening in there as well. So that's it. That's a, a, a quick walk around, really, of uh, of the smart car, the smart four two, four fifty, and uh, I just thought it'd be a nice addition to the channel for you to have a look at that and see uh, see what it is. And um, you don't see the four fifty on the road as as much as you used to, and, and that's a, that's a shame. And they do suffer with uh, engine failure, which means that engines need to be rebuilt after a certain amount of time. The uh, oil seals in the engine um, blow, which means it's they start burning oil, and then inevitably they they blow up because people don't top the oil up. I have to put about a liter of oil in every two thousand miles. Um, it, it is burning oil quite rapidly um, but apart from having an engine rebuild um, there's not much more I can do about it. Um, if you've enjoyed the video hit like hit subscribe I know it's cliche I know everybody says that um, but if you have uh, enjoyed the video it'd be great for you to give it a like a comment and a subscribe as well because that does really help the channel and uh, it's good to know what you think would you have one of these would you drive a little purple bug to and from uh, do you think there'd be enough room for you? Could you live with it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching the video. And if uh, you want to suggest anything for the channel, let me know. 
Yeah, and uh, don't forget to follow me again on the socials. It's John Coupland, all one word, um, on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook as well. That's J O N, um, as spelt in the channel. Whatever you're doing, have a great day and uh, catch you next time.